Hey, I just wanted to show you quickly the uh, data model that I'm using that I uh, documented in the flipped classroom and we went over in class, but I know it's, it's confusing until uh, you're dealing with it yourself. So this is our Firebase database. You know, we go over here and we're in the database view and we've got our users, which is a collection. We have documents that are named after the user. This is a valid user ID. Then we have a collection, which is called photos. And in the photos, we have documents. The documents are named after the photo ID, which we got uh, um, using uuid.getRandomUUID, I think, dot two string. So it's a one liner. But we're generating this on the client. And we're generating it because we are setting it in the photo object and storing that into Firestore. And then we are also storing the file uh, to storage. And the file is going to be named with this photo ID. And, and therefore, if you have this photo object, you can find the file. Um, the, not act And actually vice versa, because uh, of, of the way we, we store things in storage, but we don't have the, the vice versa problem. Anyway, um, so you see these are these are the fields. These fields come from the photo object object. These are exactly the string uh, values for the different components in that object. So uh, let's see, so yeah, it shows you this sort of path name. You know, the root, users, UID, photos, photo ID. And if we go back up to the root, there's also a uh, um, collection comments, comments, uh, every photo, these are named by photo ID, then comments again, this is what I mean by their, the string comments appears twice in the path name. Then these documents are auto, the ID is auto generated, meaning it's generated on the server, not the client. And you don't have to use uh, UUID. And this comes from the comment object. All of these fields are in the comment object. You know, this one is set on the on the server. The, the rest of them are not. This is the, the UID owner, which I think we grabbed from the photo object, photo object, object. There's also, um, you know, the auth object will, will let us know who the current user is. Okay, so these are comments. This is your, this is your comment list. And when you are building queries, you want to query, you know, maybe all of the comments uh, for a particular photo ID. So, you know, get this photo ID and then get all the comments. And that's how you build your queries. And when you write, you know, you also need to write down this, this path. Okay, so that's the database. Let's look at storage. Storage, we have a photos directory under which is a subdirectory named by UID. In the UID are files named by photo ID.jpg. Okay, this is a photo ID. It's a randomly generated UUID. It's generated on the client. It's generated by your code. And uh, if you have the photo ID, you can find the um, path to the file uh, just by grabbing a reference to the Firestore storage object, going into child photos, child UID, and then uh, the photo ID dot JPEG. These are the actual images we have. Okay, so that's the data model. I keep saying this term data model, what that means is just sort of how am I storing and retrieving my data? So that's what you're doing when you're building these queries, retrieves the data, and uh, you write the code to actually um, uh, store the data in uh, Firebase and in Firebase storage. Sorry, Fire Storage and Fire Storage Storage. This is one of these things. I think this whole thing is called Firebase, but anyway, I guess this thing is what is called Firebase, but the database we're using is called Fire Storage. Fire Store. Okay. Uh, but that, that, that's what, uh, why I'm going on and on about this data model stuff. So I, that, that should be sufficient to, to understand how I've organized it and how to write your queries. And just to uh, emphasize, you don't have to create any of this stuff yourself by hand. You can if you want. But there's enough functional code in what I gave you to actually create this stuff 
once you start returning valid query objects from uh, the function that returns a query object. Okay, good luck.